XM Cyber's simulation and remediation platform works in three easy steps. Step one, select the targets for the attack simulations, which are the critical assets in the organization. Step two, the platform automatically runs the cyber attack simulations, exposing attack vectors to the assets. Step three, a prioritized actionable remediation report is presented with the most critical issues to be fixed. One of the most common targeted assets is the customer's credit card or PCI data. Let's start with defining an attack scenario by clicking on Create New Scenario and naming it PCI Data. Next, the critical assets which are the targets of the attack simulations can be selected. In this example, all the database servers which include customers' information are added. While it is not mandatory, more parameters such as breach point or threat actor's profile can be added to the scenario. Click Review to create the scenario. In the Battleground screen, the attack simulation process is analyzed. Initially, the network is organized by units. The endpoints are still gray as the virtual hacker has not yet discovered them. The first red endpoint is the breach point. The diamonds are the target assets. Now let the simulation begin. The reconnaissance steps are blue, which means the endpoint has been discovered, but not yet compromised, and the compromised nodes are now red. You can see that the target assets have been compromised. By clicking on a compromised asset, you can see the complete attack vector. The attack started from the Partners Portal and then moved to Olivia from Sales Computer using a web-based watering hole technique. It then progressed towards Steve from IT's laptop using stolen credentials. On Steve's device, the virtual hacker waited for him to perform an RDP session into a computer in the secure zone, and then the virtual hacker used the same session to get a foothold in it, compromising the control TV server. Finally, the virtual hacker progressed in the secure zone from the control TV server towards the target assets, as both had the same local credentials. Moving from the red to the blue area, we can see the remediation report, which summarizes the most important findings that led to the assets being compromised. Typically, it will present between five to 10 findings, which are the most urgent issues to be fixed on the critical path to the most crucial assets. Clicking on a finding will reveal details, including the severity and complexity of the rating attack, a short description of the issue, MITRE attack techniques, affected computers, and tailored remediation options, including general best practices and actionable advice. Most of these issues can be fixed easily and are a result of poor IT hygiene. For example, this issue can be mitigated by moving the following users to the protected users group. An overview of the entire organization's security status can be seen on the dashboard, including the current security rate, which offers an overview of how many attack scenarios managed to compromise the critical assets. You can see that due to IT changes over time, the security rating dropped and then increased again as a result of the fixes that were implemented. XM Cyber.